today I'm going to show you how to transfer helium from a, 200, a 242 cubic feet helium tank to a smaller 110 cubic foot uh, helium tank. I'm sorry, this one might be, uh, oh yeah, I think it's 110, the smaller one here. Okay, so you're going to need a bigger helium tank, a smaller tank, and then you get, this is something called a transfer cable. This is going to connect the two tanks together. And for this to work, you're going to need more helium in here and less in here. So right now, I'm not even sure how much is in here. Um, I believe there's only a little, little bit left in my smaller tank, okay? And the basic principle here is that the this is, since it has more helium in it, in it, it has more pressure, okay? So this has more pressure, this has less pressure. Once we connect the cable and we open it up, the pressures will equalize and pushing the helium from here into here, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So first you're gonna, if, you, if your tank is ever tight and you have a hard time opening your tank, just take a, a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, I got some channel locks here, and all I'm gonna do is just open my pliers, put it in the hole, and then I'm gonna go ahead and crack that open. Okay, once it's cracked, you can do it by hand. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up our first side of our tank by sticking the one end here that has th threads on it, you're just gonna stick it and screw it in there. And you gotta make sure it's tight. Obviously our tanks are closed, otherwise you'd hear hissing coming out of it. So we're gonna get that screwed on. Let's see if you can see it better this way. Alright, there we go. Alright, so once we get the one side on, on this particular ga uh, transfer cable and all of them, if you look here, this is a pressure relief valve, okay? And we're going to make sure that's closed. Right now it's, it was open, so we're going to make sure it's closed. Um, if you leave that open, the helium just should come right out of it. So make sure your pressure relief valve here is closed. <clears throat> right? Then we're going to connect the other side to our smaller tank. Making sure it's on tight. Okay. Once you have everything connected, everything's closed, we're going to go ahead and open one side of the tank and you're going to see the pressure rise on the gauge. There you go. Now, all I'm going to go ahead and do is that this one's fully open and I'm going to go ahead and open up my other tank. And you should hear a hissing. I don't know if you can hear that. And you're going to watch the gauge is actually going to pull down. Once it's stopped, equalizing, we're going to close both tanks. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the pressure relief valve. Because if you don't relieve the pressure inside the cable, it's going to be really tough to get this off and it might even pop off. So we always close both sides. I'll do that in a second. But I just want to talk about something a little bit before that. Once they equalize, just a quick uh, lesson in thermodynamics or uh, whatever you want to call it. Basically, when pressure leaves a, a container, the container loose, um, it loses temperature. So this is going to be cold and this one's going to be hot. If I go ahead and start dunking this smaller one in ice water, so you, if you have a nice bucket of ice water, it's going to drop the pressure of the container and more helium will flow into it. So if you want to get more helium into this tank, we're just going to go ahead and start dunking this into water, like so, okay? Get it nice and cool, and then more helium will transfer over. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and close your helium tanks on both sides. Make sure you don't disconnect this cable with the helium tank on because you'll be ready for a disaster. You've got to be very safe. All right. Now, I still, even though I closed both tanks, like I mentioned before, I'm going to have, I have helium uh, right in this cable. So, we're going to go ahead and turn that pressure relief valve. You can hear it release. Now, everything's open. And you know both of these are closed. Otherwise, you'd hear it keep coming out, the helium. So, we're going to close that, disconnect, and that's how you transfer helium. Thanks for watching.